Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as the other ladies, you know that this literally does not work. This is that time of year that we hate, you know, when it literally looks like I've got a leprechaun on my shoulder there with the New York Giants blanket. This is the time of year to hate because, you know, you start to get to know. Here's the thing that's cool is because of the internet and because of the way everything is now you know catered to what you like you know because you've got guys like law and vosh and things like that that you're hearing about players that we used to not know about years ago you know because the film breakdown the talk the draft everything else everything is covered to the nth degree and so you feel like these guys are like family and you hear more personal sides of the players and it hurts when you start to lose some of the players, when they get cut and stuff. And you understand, we are a better team this year right now, players-wise, and we have a lot more talent than we've had in past years. And so some of the guys you've gotten to know are being cut. And I have to say, Will Greer being cut is just, it's sad. Um, watching this interview with him last night, just it's just about breaks your heart. What's up, guys? I'm good. How'd you feel about tonight? Obviously, a really good performance. Yeah, we won the game. I told you, this is the one thing we hadn't done. Um, yeah, mixed emotions. Um, but um, I thought it, thought it went well. What was kind of your mindset coming into tonight, knowing that it's, it's kind of a show and tell game for you, but also it's a bittersweet moment? Yeah, bittersweet, man. I uh, just close with a lot of these guys. That's the that's the hardest part. Jerry mentioned as he was walking out of the locker room that you were pretty emotional today. What, what have the last 36 hours been like for you? <laughs> this is just sad. Uh, it's been tough, but I've been through tougher stuff. Um, got a lot of respect for this organization and the Jones family. I understand that it's a business at the end of the day, and, and I respect that. And uh, the hardest part on me is just um, leaving this place, to be honest. Just um, got really close with the team, and um, that's the toughest part about what we do. Um, but, man, I've been through the harder things, and I'll rebound and be just fine. I know that you heard Dak in your ear during the week through the Walker talk you both what kind of game you think he called tonight? What's it like? I think uh, he did a great job. It was, it was a lot of fun um, for both of us. And um, I, mean, I just want to see him go win the Super Bowl and get everything he deserves. How motivated were you tonight to come out and perform the way that you just did? I, I mean, I was, it was up and down. I was motivated. Um, it was tough. It was, it was a weird situation. And um, I think uh, at the end of the day, I just rely on the fact that I know how to play football and I'm good at it. So I knew when there you go. the game started, I could just play football. And mm -hmm. that's just what I did. For any other team that would be considering adding you, what would be your message to them right now? I mean, I think my play speaks for itself what I can do on the field. Um, I'm a uh, I'm team first guy, and I'd say to them to ask the people around me, Last one, guy. One of the things he said was that his mind, answering the question, that said, my mind's kind of with him right now, pointing at you. What does that mean? It means a lot. He understands. He's he's part of this business, and uh, it's a business, you know. I mean, I, you know, it's a business. At the end of the day, it's it's a numbers thing. It's a. Um, it's just part of the NFL. It's part of the job I signed up for. It's part of the job he signed up for. Um, like I said, I mean, it's hard. It's tough because you get close to people, but. At the same time, I'm going to be just fine. Everybody's going to be fine. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that that is that's sad. Uh, and that's the part that you hate about football, especially this time of year. And, you know, you got Dak Prescott, who, who got to call the game last night. And I want to go to that because these two are definitely tied together. Ready to call your own place now? Uh... The timing's right, I guess. Um, maybe it was fun. But seriously, does it give you a, a different uh, perspective and a, a, a 
appreciation. I know you have a lot of respect already for the football. No, for sure. I mean, as you said, I've got a lot of respect for it. Uh, I mean, I've been around for a while, so kind of understand the flow, kind of understand what you're trying to get. Um, knowing, knowing the quarterback, knowing what he's good at, knowing what he's wanting to do, uh, I think is a huge part of it. And so, uh, I mean, I give credit to that as much as me, me calling a couple, a couple of plays. As uh, that guy played his ass off, and any time a quarterback plays like that, it doesn't matter who's calling the plays. Mm -hmm. yeah, the respect aspect of it and, and understanding what, uh, what a play call is going through is there something that is actually beneficial for you as a quarterback to, to be on that side of it and, and just see the entire process in that way? Um, as I said, I've been around for a while. Um, so that, I mean, it's not, it wasn't anything that I, I didn't understand that these guys put so much time and they put a lot of effort into. Uh, once again, I mean, it's preseason football. The, those guys gave us three coverages on the other side. And so, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, sit here on, on my high horse like I just called the Super Bowl or something. So um, it was a game, and it was fun. It was fun to do and fun to experience that. What you think of Will? As I said, man, just played his ass off. Uh, that's who Will is. That's who Will's been from the time that he's been here. And um, it was awesome that he got to go out there and put that performance on display and uh, hope the, the rest of the world, the, the rest of the league saw that and took notice. What did you think about the acquisition of the trade? Uh, I mean, obviously, I understand it's a business. Uh, that's a first-round talent. Um, and... Uh, you're always trying to make your team better, um, but that, that's, that was the front office, so we're going to welcome him as we do any teammate, um, and uh, hope he just he makes us better, and then we're going to continue to get back at it and know we've got one goal as a team. Would you know anything about him, like Pat's cross and all? Uh, I mean, Pat's cross, I guess, uh, during his draft process um, for a marketing thing, and uh, seemed like a great kid, knows he's a great kid, knows he's a great, excuse me, a great guy, I should say, and uh, as I said, uh, ready to welcome him to the team. Back to the trade surprise you at all? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. Uh, you've been in this league eight years, been on this team. Uh, it's hard to say that I was surprised, to be honest with you. There was some speculation that uh, this move would somehow strengthen the Cowboys' negotiating position with you when it comes to contract talks. Do you feel that it does? I believe that talks and those talks uh, in the office where business is handled. So, I mean, that, uh, that'll come a time when, when that happens, and so... Uh, I mean, I, I can't say that I necessarily expected it, no. Um, I understand that as business, I understand that they're probably on a timeline. They need to get some done. And as I said, he felt like that strengthened this team. And, um, yeah, as I said, we're ready to welcome him. And, um, yeah, I mean, when is this, we knowing the strength of the quarterback room that we have. Uh, honestly, right now, I mean, my, my heart and my mind is with Will. Um, and so it's, uh, it's a tough situation, honestly. Um, Love that guy to death over there, plays his, plays his ass off, comes in, prepares the right way each and every day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as I said, we're going we're gonna to welcome Trent, uh, Trey, and that's, 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 that's what you do for a teammate. I mean, we're excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm always there to help somebody, help a teammate. Uh, very selfless person, so that, that's not going to change by any means, but my heart's with that guy over there right now. Uh, simple question. How excited are you to just get out there and start playing some football? Yeah, damn sure excited. Uh, yeah, I mean, being more involved, I guess you can say, in this game is just raise that excitement, uh, the preparation that kind of went into that. But at the same time, knowing I've been watching the guys we've got in a couple of weeks and uh, ready to kick off this thing the right way. And uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation, and got a great team that's headed into New York. Jerry mentioned Thank you. Again, he understands it's a business. And um, <sighs> this does not last. You know, we said end of last year. That's the end of that team. Every year it's a different team, different players and everything else, different attitude, different outcomes. And that's the hard part of making friends and having these guys and things like that that just doesn't last. So Trey Lance has broken up Dak and Will Greer. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. Peace.